stored procedure with parameters. So far, we have seen a simple stored procedure that just selects the required values from a table. Now, let's see a little more complex stored procedure with parameters. Stored procedures allow input and output parameters to have a better control over the input-output values. Here's an example with an input parameter. In the above example, at SP number is the input parameter and the values that will be sent by your ASP or c -sharp code. Now, let's discuss this with an example. Open SQL Server Management Studio and expand the database node in Object Explorer. Expand your database folder and click Programmability Folder. Right-click on Stored Procedures and then click New Stored Procedure. It will open a Query Editor window with default SQL statements. Go to Query Menu. Click Specify Values for Template Parameters. It will open a Template Parameter window. Click the Procedure Name and change it to My Pro. Then change the Param1 to SP Number and type as INT and then click OK. Modify the SELECT statement to SELECT STAR from employee when number equals at SP number. To create stored procedure, go to Query menu and click EXECUTE or simply press F5. If you want to execute the stored procedure you've created, use the command EXEC PROCEDURE NAME parameter. Type in EXEC MY PRO 1 in Query Editor. Press F5 to evaluate the query. It will show you employee information whose number is equal to 1. Next, we're going to discuss how to use stored procedure in ASP.NET application.